<laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good. Hmm. But yeah, the the additional reach is probably one of the biggest factors for me. I like being able to poke someone that isn't immediately next to me. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to figure out which the fuck way I'm meant to go. I thought I was meant to go down the, like, the fucking mine shaft. But I'm assuming that's not true. Just judging by that animation, that seems to give me the idea that that is the way I'm meant to go. What's that? Punches do random screams off screen. Come on, game. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so there seems to be essentially three ways. One up that way, one down into our right. And if I can take this down, which it does... Or does this go back up? Like, is this a checkpoint? Because it didn't cost us anything to repair it. Ah, it is a checkpoint. Oh. Didn't know it was a thing, but that it came back to the surface, or that you could repair it, or... Because I, I had no idea either. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm clearing this out. I don't really need to. I could have just flat left. But anyway, okay, so does this allow me to then go back down? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cause when I walked up, this was all wrecked. And, but I could walk up to it and click it, and there was just a button with repair with no cost.
Mm. Okay, so that is not actually... A, I mean... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they're big brainiest. Maybe this is actually a way. The game is also early access, so it may well have been, depending on how long ago you played it, that it wasn't actually a thing back then. I, I haven't been keeping up with the patch notes. Oh, it's only been a week? Okay, then, yeah. I mean... It, it's a bit like these lights. I think I had pretty well cleared the first dungeon before I figured out that I could actually light those lights. dare these people not leave behind stuff that I can loot, honestly. Honestly. I'm reporting them to the IRS, that'll teach them. Ow, I looked away and got smacked. <laughs> Apparently they didn't, they didn't like me threatening to report them to the IRS. I'm sorry. That, that is the entire point of a game like this, is that you have the freedom to do that if you want to. As long as you had fun doing it, there's no right or wrong way to play. Now, like, if you did it that way and you got so frustrated you stopped playing, then I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, like, but, yeah, if you did it, you had fun, you kept playing, I mean, yeah, I mean, you had fun, so, it's just like, oh my god. I, I'm assuming you know the game, uh, Left for Dead. Um, <laughs> me, me and my friends had a, a very interesting little, I, I'm going to use air quotes and say, um, alternate game mode. <laughs> so what we did is at the very start of a level, we all shot each other until only one was left standing. And then they attempted to rush as far down the level as they could. And essentially we took turns so that each person eventually had a try. And whoever got furthest won. That was very much not how you were meant to play the game. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and not not every game's for everyone. <laughs> there is uh there is definitely a fair few games that I I won't play. Like I I pretty well refuse to play horror games. I will watch someone else play them. 
Um, and there are exceptions to that, because, like, I have played through Dead Space, for example. But, on the whole, horror games, no. What is it, news? Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, I know there's people who will, like, exclusively play them. Yeah, yeah. I I think the reason I could get through Dead Space is because you could fight back, essentially. Whereas a lot of horror games, that's one of the elements of the horror, is the fact that you are unable to fight. Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> oh my god some old-fashioned chitin. <laughs> okay, I want Sparky Boy dead. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was- that was a little hectic. <laughs> <laughs> I know, um, probably my favorite, favorite thing to do is, um, I like, hmm, how to, how to put this? I like predictable twists. And I, I don't mean ones that you see a mile away. I mean ones that there is hints throughout and then you get to the reveal and it's not like, oh my god, that came out of nowhere. You look back and you're like, holy shit, it's been telling me this the entire time. Oh my lord. I love those so much. It, feel, it makes me feel like an absolute idiot, but I love them. <laughs> Like conversely, that or that that's also why I don't like um like out of nowhere twists. Like it, the occasional one's fine, but if you do nothing but out of nowhere twists, I'm I'm not a fan. Give me twists that make me feel like the dumbest person on the planet because you've made it so obvious, but I haven't figured it out. Is there anything up over here? No, it was just that house, wasn't it? Yeah. 
I I love those so much. Like I loved I loved the uh the nonary game series. Even though it it still did have a, a couple of unpredictable like impossible to predict twists. I I did enjoy the ever living hell out of that series. And it scares me that I my brain has a general timeline of how everything goes there. Because there is a lot going on in that series. <laughs> 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 or, um, 13 Sentinels. That was another fun one. Oh my lord. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Nonary Games is a essentially of like a visual novel puzzler. Like there's escape room type puzzles in it. But the story, I love the story. Uh 13 Sentinels is a turn-based um strategy. I, honestly, the strategy I don't think is anything to write home about, but the story, once again, oh my lord, I love it. <laughs> wow. What is a Kit Kat? Hmm? Yeah, have you been outside yet today? Wow. Ah, yup, yup. I. I played through Terraria as well. Terraria is definitely one of my favorites. I haven't actually played Valheim yet. I don't know why. Ah, uh, and of course, I I have definitely played Fortnite. <laughs> both both the um the original Fortnite and the Battle Royale Fortnite. <laughs> Actually, one sec. But yeah, those are those are definitely fun games. Oh. Let's is the one that brought you back into gaming. A very, very good choice to come back into gaming on Terraria. Maybe I just don't fight them at all. What if I just keep leading them over the traps? Ah! As long as I don't get in the traps. I don't know what old mate over there is doing. I think he's just chilling. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, the fucking game save freaked me out there. Oh! 
Am I- am I cheesing it by throwing them at the traps? Yes. Oh, oh, holy shit. I- I was convinced I was dead when I saw that game save. And yeah, Terraria, man, I've gone back to that one a couple of different times because the first time I played it was, I don't, I don't think it was like straight away on launch. I think it was a little bit after that, but then they've kept sucking me back in every time they do it. They put out like another fucking update. The bastards. <laughs> it's it's such a good game and and again like there's a freedom to it like if, if you want to just kind of sit around and fucking fish you can fish if you want to farm herbs you can do that if you want to go fight you can do that if you want to just like kind of mess around in creative and build things you can do that as well I, I'm pretty sure you have me beat. Hold up, I'll, I'll quickly pull up my, my Steam. Terraria. Yeah, I've only got 300 hours in Terraria. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a filthy casual, I'm sorry. And only 82 on Team Mod Loader, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've, I've sinned. <laughs> Oh. I was about to be like, oh, well, this is useless, and then my mouse got far enough to highlight it. Okay. This is the PlayStation 2? Oh. Uh -huh. I actually still have my PlayStation 2 around here somewhere. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, honestly, you chose to come back to a very good game. Like... I'll definitely give you that. You, you still do? Heck yeah. Wait, did I turn these lights on? Oh, I just I, I just realized where we are. Okay. <laughs> it it took me a second. It took me a second to realize that this was the destroyed walkway from fucking earlier. So it's now a shortcut. Okay, cool. Through homeschool groups on Facebook? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know my sister actually homeschools her kids. Ah, uh, I, I, I personally don't know a lot about it, but hell yeah, like good on you for, for fucking going, oh dear lord, for going the extra mile. It can be very difficult homeschooling kids. I'm scared to stop moving, because I don't know his attack pattern. Ah! Oh, fuck, fuck! Oh! So he is an angry boy.
I'm doing so little damage. <laughs> Whittle him down. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. Ah! Okay, so he definitely does hit hard. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, that's both cool and terrifying. Ah, damn it. I don't have the time, like... No, I don't want to hit him with the fishing rod. Oh my god. My my issue there was I kept rolling to dodge his initial hit, and then he would send out the electricity before I could dodge again. <laughs> well. But yeah, I, I, I don't personally know, but I do know from my sister how difficult it can be to homeschool children. So, good on ya. But where was even? Where was the boat? Oh, there's the boat. Because I need to make a new boat. Because my boat is over here. Am I just going to end up with, like, multiple boats over there? And that, that's the important part. I don't mean to question my character's choices, but I'm not sure holding a torch right next to my very, very flammable boat is the right idea here. <laughs> like, maybe I'm nitpicking, but I just, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Okay, there we go. It was the entire reason I changed the the house I built was originally um the house I built was originally wood. And then I went to put like the furnace in there and I'm just like this no. <laughs> so I switched it all to stone cuz I'm like no. <laughs> We're not doing that. 